Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've got a little quick tutorial here on how I varnish my paintings. Today I've got this large iris painting. Uh, I have a full length tutorial for this if you'd like to learn how to paint it. And I'm gonna be using Gamblin Gamvar Gloss. Now this says it's varnish for oil and acrylic paintings. So it says on the back, saturates colors and gives your finished painting a natural looking unified and protective glossy surface. It's odorless, goes on water clear, stays water clear and can easily be removed with Gamzol. Apply a thin coat with a thin brush. So you wanna also let it dry for 24 to 36 hours if you decide you wanna add another coat. But from what I've read on this, it's such a wonderful product, you only need one coat. You want to make sure the surface you're applying this in is clean. You don't want to have any pet dander, animals around. You want to have your doors closed so there's no breeze letting in any dust or little hairs. Make sure your painting is completely dry like I mentioned. You want to make sure that there's no little hairs or anything on it. So kind of just dust it off. Go over gently with a brush and then you're ready to apply. Once you apply it, you're gonna to wanna to wait 24 to 36 hours. You might wanna cover it unless it's in a room where you know that no one's gonna open the door, there's gonna be nothing landing on it. And let's go ahead and get started. I think we're ready. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit right in this area. That may be a little bit too much, but it is a large painting. So you just wanna make sure that you're spreading it out right to the corner. Don't forget about those corners. You can see already the difference in color just from here. You can really see the difference from here to here where it's dry and there's no varnish. Make sure you don't brush or scrub the canvas too much. You wanna do this very carefully and thinly to cut down on the chance of air bubbles. There are a few little air bubbles that I can see here if I look really closely. You're gonna to wanna to get down at table level so you can really see in the light where you've missed any spots. Make sure you're doing this under a good light. Now I, I do need a little bit more so I'll just pour it a little bit more here. Be careful when you get to those edges. You don't want, it's okay if it spills over, but you definitely don't want to be wasting this product. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit on the pricey side. I think I paid about $36 for this little bottle. I'll let this dry now for 24 hours and I'll come back and we'll see how it looks and see if I need to add any more or if there's any air bubbles. It's looking pretty good now. I'm really liking the shine. It's not overly shiny. It just seems to be the right amount. So in 24 hours, I'll see you guys back here. Okay, everyone, I'm back. It's been 24 hours and I couldn't be happier with how it looks. I don't know how it's coming through to you guys on the screen here, but uh, it's really, really pretty. The color has intensified a little bit and just enough um, that uh, you can see all the different shades of purples and here in blues and turquoises, just like when I, f I freshly applied the paint onto the canvas. So I really think that... Uh, it looks quite nice. I'm happy with this product and I'm gonna recommend it to you guys. So hope that you enjoyed this and that you learned a lot. I do have another tutorial on how to varnish and seal using Liquitex uh, Basics. So if you wanna check that one out too, that's another um, nice product that I recommend. I think this one is my favorite though. It seems to spread more evenly and it's just a little bit glossier and overall easier to apply. So I'll have a link below for that one if you want to check it out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.